This is a half inch conduit bender and the various markings indicate the degrees of bend when the pipe is in the bender. It marks 10, 22, 30, 45, 60 and when it's completely bent it's a 90 degree bend. These are half inch conduit benders. This is a malleable iron which is a very strong bender. These two are die cast aluminum benders. This one and this one bend a code compliant radius. This bends a very short radius for unusual situations, but it's more difficult to pull wire through those bends. When bending conduit, it's important to maintain foot pressure on the bender so that you don't kick the pipe as you bend it. That is a code compliant radius 90 degree bend. This is a short radius 90 degree bend. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> okay, this is the short radius 90 degree bender. And you can see how much tighter that bend is. Three. In this episode we're going to bend a three inch offset and because we're going to use a 30 degree angle we mark the marks six inches apart. And I'll put the first one line up with the arrow. And when the handle is completely vertical, it's a 30 degree bend. I reverse it, bring this mark to the arrow again, line it up, and I can either look at this line here to make sure it's in line with the 30 degree mark or I can put it on the ground and pull it till the handle is vertical. And I have a three inch offset. Okay, this video will be bending a two inch pipe saddle. So for each inch of rise, I have to make a mark two and a half inches away from the center of my saddle. So since I want to go up two inches, I'll mark, I'll mark five inches away from the center on each side. The center mark gets lined up with the notch on the bender and gets bent to a 45 degree bend. I then flip it and go to the far mark and line it up with the arrow and bend that to 22 and a half degrees. Reverse it, put the other mark at the arrow, line it up, bend it to 22 degrees, and have my pipe saddle to clear two inches of pipe. Both of these are half inch offset benders. This provides the half inch of clearance away from a wall or ceiling to bring the conduit directly into the connector on an electrical box. Both of these are made by Greenlee. Both are model 1810 offset benders. This one here with the handle at 90 degrees vertical, 
bends the offset in a 90 degree swing of the handle. This newer version takes a 180 degree swing of the handle and has a longer handle for better leverage. They both make the exact same offset bend. It's just that this one takes a much longer swing to use. This is the one I use when I'm on a scissors lift up in the air because it takes less room to bend. This is the one I use when I'm on the ground because it's easier to bend with. Three. This is how the bender works. You put the pipe in, pull the handle back, you remove it, and you have the half inch offset to go into an electrical box. So what do you do with all the bent pipe now, John? <laughs> it goes to the scrap yard <laughs> to keep it out of landfills. This is an example of a conduit stub. This is a 9 inch stub, or the bend from the ground where you bend it is a total of 9 inches. The bender says deduct 5 inches for stub. So the first 5 inches is from the ground to the arrow and the 4 inches is where you mark the mark. So 9, a total of 9, subtract 5, you make your mark at 4 inches and then you put that mark at the arrow on the bender. This arrow here indicates where that line goes and then you wind up with an exact bend. This is an example of a back-to-back -back bend. This stub here is 8 inches. 3 inches down is where the mark is made. That mark gets put at the arrow and bent up. Then, because the total length from here, this side, to this side is 18 inches, when it's laying on the ground, you measure from here, 18 inches over, make a mark, and then you put that mark at the star. And the star is for back-to-back -back bends. It says back of it says back of 90 degree. That's for the back-to-back -back bends. Then you will wind up with an exact bend.